What's up, everybody? Um, this is my WWE 2018 SummerSlam reaction. First off, just what in the world? Hands down, bet one of the best pay per views of the year. Absolutely loved it. From start to finish. Overall, the entire preview, I'm literally giving a 10 out of 10. Um, just on, I mean, just enter, the entertainment of it. The the way it, everything went. A couple of things I didn't like. I'm about to get into that. Um, first off, Jeff versus Sinsuke. I was, I was pretty happy with the match. You know? Yeah. I was happy. Jeff won, uh, it, it lasted longer, you know, Shinsuke didn't get, uh, <laughs> caught with the low blow, <laughs> um, I liked it, you know, I, I give that match a 3 out of 5, uh, or 3, 3.5 maybe, uh, pretty darn good, um, Miz versus Daniel Bryan, love the match, very technical match, not a lot of high craziness, you know, did it was a very good match, more or less, man. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, did not like the ending where the of disqualific or not. Did not like the ending with you know Miz using his uh, the brass knucks. Not too happy about that. But um, you know, I think it'll keep this. I think it might open a new chapter for the rivalry, maybe. Uh, you know, just see what happens. Um, yeah, Daniel Bryan should have won. I picked Bryan to win. I picked Jeff. I had, I picked Reigns to win. I picked Bauer. I picked AJ. I picked Becky. But, you know, obviously that didn't happen. Um, I had Seth the whole time. I knew Ronda was going to win. That match was, like my buddy Nielsen said, uh, it was a squash. You know, it was just there for, <laughs> you know, I knew, I knew they are going to have Ronda take it, win it, whatever. Let's just hope, like he said, she's not. I don't think she's going to be another Brock Lesnar. I don't at all. I think she's going to proudly represent it week in, week out. Um. So, yeah, I... I loved it. Um, okay. Uh, next on it, though. Uh, let's see. Next on it. Okay. Bauer versus Corvin. Are you freaking kidding me with the demon, though? Demon Finn Bauer. Last second. Are you kidding me? Five-star classic. Five star simply because of that. The match was the match was quick. It was short. It was funny. I don't I don't even care. Just loved it. Demon music hit. I had goosebumps. I was speechless. My buddy texted me and was just like, "Are you what the hell?" Right? Okay. Um, Becky, Charlotte, and Carmella. Overall, fairly good match. You know, I give it 3.5, maybe 4, whatever. Um, I do see the rivalries continuing. I don't know where this is really going to leave Carmella, but I do see the rivalries continuing. Um, some way, somehow. Um, Becky... Almost tapping Carmelo, but Charlotte coming in at the last second. Love that ending. It was very, it was interesting. Becky attacking Charlotte. I freaking knew it. I called it. I knew it was going to happen. I absolutely knew that that was going to happen. I could not be more, really more excited for that. I was just like... Now, I feel bad, you know, because I feel like it was kind of legit. I don't think that was really part of the storyline. I think Becky attacking Charlotte was kind of off script, to be perfectly honest. 
I, for one, though, am all for it. You know, friends, not whatever. Um, AJ and Joe, great match. Loved the match. Loved it, loved it, loved it. The ending kind of bullshit, but I understand it. I feel like this was less script and more real life personal between the two. Um, Joe saying what he said and then AJ attacking him and getting disqualified. Not too happy about the disqualification. Not too happy about it, but understandable. I like it. Uh, definitely a, a four star match. You know? Um, would have been better if he'd beaten him, uh, had AJ win, uh, fair and square. One of the best matches of the night, uh, Seth versus Dolph. Uh, ha I had Seth all day, right? Seth coming out looking like Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet on his boot. Loved it. I didn't know at first because I didn't actually because I don't watch the freaking. <laughs> um, my buddy had to tell me, and then I realized I was like, "Oh, okay, uh, this is cool," you know. Uh, the ending with the curb stomp and and the the no outside interference is what made this match really good. You know what I'm saying? You had no outside interference, really, right? Drew and Drew and Dean, Dean freaking Ambrose, they kept themselves, yeah, he attacked them, whatever. But there was no interference with the match, really, and I love that. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, like I said, Ronda versus Bliss. God help, I am so... Oh, yeah, first off, I'm glad the, the title's not on Carmel anymore. Second of all, thank God Bliss ain't champion no more. Thank God Bliss ain't champion no more. Um, not that I don't necessarily like her. I like I like her in the ring, but no, I don't like her as a champion. I just don't. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Ronda will, will... Ronda and Charlotte both will do the, ch the title justice. I know they will. Becky would be, but but Ronda, you know, just a squash match. Loved it though. Uh, let's see what what's next. What am I doing here? Rain versus Lesnar, which leads into which led into the Braun Strowman segment. Um, Reigns versus Lesnar, man. First off, let's all sing hallelujah that the title's not on Brock Lesnar and they don't find a way to put it back on him. He can go to UFC, become champion over there. Do not care. I do not care. I simply do not. I don't like him as champion. I don't like him as a person, really. I don't... I, I don't I just don't care. You know? He he whatever, man. I I don't care. I really don't. It's not that I didn't really want Reigns to be the champion, you know? Great. I'm I'm finally glad Reigns gets it. And it's cause like I said the other day. Uh Reigns is doing this for reasons people don't understand and that's why he gets booed. But I'm so happy Reigns doing it. Uh, Braun coming out and saying he was going to cash in on whoever won. Unexpected. Love the little, the little setup there. Uh, Lesnar attacking Braun and then Reigns winning. Alright then. You know, it would, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, at least I think what will happen is... Braun will either cash in at a pay-per-view or sometime on the ne on you know one next raw or something. I don't know. You know, I I I don't know what's gonna happen there. But yeah, thank God they let Braun keep that briefcase. I don't know if that was gonna be scripted or if he wasn't supposed to or what it was, but. 
KO not getting the briefcase, I would have been utterly pissed had that happened. Because then I would have been disappointed in WWE itself because I feel like they would have had something to do with it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, overall the matches, most of them 3.5 if not higher. Uh, definitely 10 out of 10 pay-per-view. One of the best pay-per-views of this year. Seriously. Um, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens next. I really am. You know? We got a lot of storylines coming up, I think, for this. So, yeah. And just see what happens. This is your boy, Chris Cowboy Carroll. A.K.A. The Werewolf. Um, love you guys. On a lighter note, I will be posting more and more and more often. Um, if you guys have any uh, requests on video games you want me to try and play, I do. I just downloaded Dead by Daylight, so I might try and do a stream off of that. If my connection holds up, which you all know my connection sucks. I don't know why, but whatever. Um, but yeah. Thank you. Love the support I'm getting. Um, Alright. I'll do it. Y'all have a good day.